The first part of this problem is pretty easy and uh, should be intuitive. So the two ropes, rope one and rope two, are both equally angled, which means that they are providing equal force on the joint and thus the hanging mass. So the vertical component of both rope one and rope two separately should be half of the required amount of force to carry the hanging mass. So therefore, we can come up with this equation. The force of tension in the y direction of rope two is going to equal to one half of the weight of the mass, mg. Since the weight of the hanging mass is in this case 20.0 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared, we can say that the force of only rope two acting in the vertical direction will be one half of that. And that's gonna come out to be 98.0 Newtons. So that's just kind of this um, relatively intuitive part of the problem. The second part is what the video is really about. So we know that the rope is angled at 32 degrees from the horizontal. So if you were to draw a triangle, and this is kind of a weirdly shaped triangle, but we'll just say this is 32 degrees, then you know that tangent of 32 degrees will be the ratio of the force tension in the y direction from rope two divided by the force tension in the x direction from rope two. So you can come up with the equation tangent of theta is equal to the force tension of y of the second rope divided by the force tension x of the second rope. And what you can do from there is you can find the force tension x of the second rope being tan theta divided by force tension y of the second rope to equal 156.8 newtons. Well, that's great if you need to know, finally, the total force of tension acting on the rope entirely. Because the rope that is attached to the wall is going to be the total tension of the rope itself. So this would be with the use of Pythagorean's theorem, force tension x of rope two squared plus force tension y of rope, excuse me, rope two squared. And so now we know both of the uh, values though. The y component of the tension of the rope is 98 newtons and the x component of the tension of the rope is 156.8 newtons. So now if we were to take the Pythagoras theorem of these two numbers, the y and x component respectively, we will be able to calculate the total tension of the rope to be 185 newtons. And that's gonna evidently be the tension that is acting on the uh, second rope, which is then the force acting on the rightmost wall.